Okay, 80s anthem rocker, uh, Twisted Sister, We're Not Gonna Take It. Um, pretty rocking, radical song. Uh, it's all power chords, uh, standard tuning. Uh, starts off with the power chord kind of dissension here. Um, we're going to start at the 7th fret of the A, 7th on the A, 9 and 9 on the D and G for that uh, E power chord. And I'll play these clean for you, and then I'll put some of the the gain on it with the distortion. But to start, we'll just hit that 7th fret power chord. Okay, and then we're going to hit it again and slide it to 6. And then from the 6, we'll hit that and slide it to 4. And from there, 4 to 2. And then hit that 2 again. And then it would repeat, so it would slide back up to that 7. And I'll show you how that sounds all together. Okay, in a verse section here, it's kind of just some uh, power chord chug things going on here. Um, so kind of palm mute a little bit, you know, just rest your hands slight, slightly on the bridge just to kind of deaden it a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is going to be just open E, so and second fret on the A for that open E power chord. And we're just chugging along just like that. about seven times on that and then it's going to jump up to second fret of the A fourth fret on the D for a B power chord and same deal back to the E and now to open A second fret on the D I'll let you hear that switches up towards the end here. Uh, still starts with the uh, open E strumming. Then to the B, second fret of the A again. Back to the E. And then here, there's a quick rest and then uh, the second fret on the A for the B power chords again. So just a, not quite as many this time. We're only, we're only going to do about six. So we'll rest that first, that first drum. We'll just cut that, and then we'll do six. Okay, and I'll put that all together for you. All right, and chorus pattern comes in here. And we're going to be up here again at the 7th fret on the A for that E power chord, 9 and 9 on D and G. Just about three strums on that. And then we're going to bring it up a set to the 7th fret on the E. And 9 and 9 on the A and D for the B power chord. Do about four. Back to the E, and then from here we go to the fifth fret on the E, seven and seven on the A and D for A power chord. Do about three strums. Back to the E, to the B, and then here we kind of do that initial descending pattern that we did. So E to 6 to 4 to 2. And we'll put it together. Alright, and now the bridge section. It uh, 
jump or goes down to a uh, key of D. So we'll start this at fifth fret of the A, seven and seven on the D and G for a D power chord. And we're we're kind of doing like the uh, the verse patterns where we're just kind of strumming along with them. And this will be about seven strums on this. And then from here we go fourth fret for four strums to second fret, four strums. And we'll put that together. This is at the end of the bridge. It's kind of an escalating uh, progression to uh, get us back into the chorus. And uh, it's going to start with just an open E power chord. So open E, second on the B, and uh, second on the A and the D. Let it ring for a measure. And then we go to first fret, three, first fret on the E, three on the A, three on the D for F. Bring that up one fret for an F sharp power chord. Then end it with the second fret on the A for that B power chord. And there it'll jump back into the chorus, but I'll put that all together here. Okay, and now just uh, the full-blown chorus progression starts the same way as the other did with the 7th fret on the A and then 7th fret on the E for a B back to the E to the A to E to the B back to the E and here's where this changes. Uh, it's kind of like uh, with the uh, previous progression where we hit the, the E and then we just kind of pause for a second and then we do the quick okay, I'll put that together and show you the next section. solo comes in and it's uh, more or less just kind of following the vocal line and uh, pretty simple um, nothing too wild here and uh, we're gonna start this with just open high E to open B back to E to second fret of the E open B to second fret of the E and then we're gonna go four two four on the E And then three on the fifth fret to four two. And then four two open. Two to four. And then three open strums. And then here we come up to the seventh fret. And if you have a whammy bar, you're going to want to be wailing on that thing for large parts of this too. So, uh, so yes, uh, seventh fret here. I just kind of give it some whammy there, tremolo. kind of following the chorus vocal, um, two open E's to B, zero to two on the E, open B, 
And then we go four on the E. Open two, four. Five. Open. And then we go four. Four. Two, open two. Four. And then three open strums. And we hit that whammy. Okay, we're not going to take it by Twisted Sister. Anthem, rocker, uh, pretty radical. And uh, hope you enjoyed playing it here. Hope you learned something with this. And um, I'd love a subscription if I could. And uh, you keep rocking and don't take any guff. I'll see ya.